to the recording session of a vlog night at Freddy's. Um, this is for my English 101 project. My genre is vlogging and more specifically video game reviews. So what my project basically is, is basically I took um, a bunch of random people and I decided to video record them playing this really scary game called Five Nights at Freddy's. I chose three people out of the many people to be subjects where I <coughs> asked them a few questions and um, just like really studied their gameplay, but I also chose a few random people just to like see their reaction from the general audience and just see how this game goes over with a bunch of different people. So I'm going to be one of the random subjects. I can't really study myself, so without further ado, I'm going to be playing Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm already not ready for this. Alright, okay, night one! Let's go! Oh, Bonnie's gone. Alrighty. Dude, where's Bonnie? Oh. What's up? Oh, Chica's in the kitchen. You can hear the kitchen noises. Oh, hey. Like, what? She's yeah, she's already there. Look. <laughs> and Chica's still there. Go away! Oh gosh. You know, I've been at 5 a.m. for a while now. I'm just gonna close the doors. Yay! Wait for it. Yay! I did it! Oh, Bonnie's already moved. Night two, Bonnie's already MIA. Oh, jeez. Well, hello there. Like, I can't find Chica. Bonnie's still there. Bonnie, you back in the dining center? Oh, there's Chica. Dude, Chica's like staring right at the camera. Okay. Bob's inactive. Good deal. Okay, Bonnie's sitting outside. It's only 2 a.m. Okay, it's 3. Okay. Oh boy, 3 a.m. Oh boy, I'm at 50% power, so I mean, I'm being pretty, pretty consistent with the timing and the cameras. And they took out the cameras again. I also think not moving a lot is a good strategy, because they sense movement. Oh, Bonnie's right there. Me. Jeez! Oh, frick! Foxy's awake. And it's only 4 a.m. That's like the third time. Oh my god. Foxy can't get Yeah, Foxy can't get me. When you hear footsteps running, that's when Foxy's coming to get you. God, I'm already at 11% power. <laughs> I'm at 10% power and Bonnie's right there. 10%, 7. Ah, oh, thank God. Wait, wait for it. Hey, I made it to night three. Things are looking good. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, so Foxy just ran at me. Oh, God. Oh, Foxy makes dead sprints, man. Chica's right there. My heart's pounding. Thank God I'm not having to do this longer. <laughs> okay, so I'm done. <laughs> Made it night three. Farthest ever gotten to night four. I am no muss. It was nice playing with you guys. See you around. Hi guys, Grace Aran here. I'm joined with the lovely Maddie Bowles, and we are going to be doing a review of Five Nights at Freddy's. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have Maddie be one of my subjects for the review. I'm going to ask her a few simple questions and we're going to get right into it. 
So, Maddie, how are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty great. I'm excited to do this. All right, awesome. Um, how far do you expect to get in this game? Night two. Uh, maybe night three if I'm lucky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are you willing to uh, continue playing the game even if you lose a night or two? Yes, even if I'm terrified, I will keep going. All right, cool. Um, what is your overall all understanding of the game mechanics themselves. Like, what is this game we're about to play? Well, basically, it's, um, you're a security guard for five nights at this sketchy children's restaurant, and basically the animatronics, they come alive at night, so you have to survive with three items, which is the flashlight, and the security cameras, and the door, but each thing is, um, it drains your pa or your battery power, so you have to be really conservative, and they can run and jump at you, and freaks you out and you die. It's creepy. It's creepy. <laughs> really creepy. Alright, so, one last question, Maddie. Are you ready to play Five Nights at Freddy's? Yes, I am. I'm totally ready. Awesome. Alright, night one is a freebie, um, and Good which is it going to bite me in the butt if I actually die in the first night, so yeah. I will be choosy with my words. And the bunny's on. Oh, and he's not even... Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> no. See, this is... Oh, oh. Creepy. Gosh, so Bonnie, basically, he's the most act he, she? she, she's the most active character of all of them, um, but she comes and goes the most. Chica, Chica is also a chick, but that's a little bit more obvious. She, basically, she doesn't travel as much as Bonnie, but she does stay a little bit longer in the doorways. Um, and then Freddy, he has this unique ability, you know, he only comes out really when you run out of power or when it's super dark. Oh, what? No! You want to tell us about the fox? I hate the fox! Oh my gosh! I, I shouldn't look at him that long! I shouldn't look at him that long! Oh, what am I doing? Wait. Alright. Oh my gosh. The pirate, he is rumored to be the one who's in charge, or responsible of the bite of 87. Uh, get to 6 a.m. Get to 6 a.m. I can't believe the fox came out. That I feel betrayed a little bit. Um, I've read a couple places where if you look in camera, what is it? Two? Four. Four. If you look in this one, this article actually changes to an article about uh, um, these kids reported missing in place, which is kind of unsettling, so maybe we'll see it tonight. Where did the bunny go? How does he move so fast? And the chicken's out. <laughs> and the bear's looking at me. The fox is still so Well, um, <laughs> I'm at a solid four. I mean, I'm not freaking out too much. I know what to expect, but it's still kind of... Okay, well, maybe now it's a five a little bit, maybe. It's gonna be fine. Because if that chicken shows up, I'll close the door. Oh, my gosh. That... You only have 16%. I can do this. Anyway, the power goes out, Freddy appears, if you play dead. Good job. I'm going to... Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Gotta love him. How did he survive this long? Where's the chicken? Where's the chicken? Where's the chicken? Chicken, 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 chicken. The good thing is, the chicken can only enter. Creepy! Hi. The, it can only enter from the right, and Bonnie and Chica. Or no, Bonnie Everyone and else. Foxy can enter from this way. The rules for safety thing turns into a article link, or an article that says, you know, children missing at Five Nights at, or at Freddy's Fosbury's Pizza. And basically, in the second game that they were, these children that were murdered here actually got stuffed into the animatronic suits, and that's why they're all wanky. How unsettled are you right now? Pretty unsettled. I mean, the chicken, I'm neutral. The audience can see how frantic I am. Oh, see, there's Freddy right there. See him? Ooh. Yeah. 2%, 2%, 2%. Ooh. 1%. Uh, I'm so- I'm getting really Night lucky. four! Look at you! Four could be even harder than, you know, all of them combined, and I wouldn't know. So. Is this, uh, this is the farthest you've ever gotten mm -hmm. in this game? Yeah. Uh, mm. Night four is awful. I'm just going to predict that now. It's awful, actually. It's super awful. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> 
feeling, Manny? Not good. Do you feel like you're gonna get got? It's gonna happen. A zero percent battery. It's not gonna happen. I'm just, it's just. I don't know. Um, keep going or are you done? I'll keep going. You're gonna keep going? I'll keep going. <laughs> Keep going, it's night five. Night five, let's redo this stuff. Ew. And that is the game for now. Um, Mandy did surprisingly well. Let's uh, let me give you an applause. Oh, thanks, thanks, man. That's fantastic. I've only ever made it to night four. Uh, how do you feel now that you've finished playing the game? Oh my god, I feel so relieved. <laughs> Gameplay, what you expected it to be? Was it like harder or easier? Like, it was, um, you know, challenge wise, I thought it, you know, it was what it was, it was expected, but the, there were some jump scares that I really wasn't expecting. So. Take it as far as you had hoped, or did you give up, or did you like have to give up after so many tries? Uh, like, yeah, I mean, like, after a while, it just kind of gets numb to you. Yeah. And What's your overall understanding of the game now? that you played it. Like, uh, did you learn anything new? Like a new feature of the game that you didn't know of before? Um, well, I knew that, I now know that there's another jump scare to look out for. Um, the whole It's Me printed jump scare thing. Cool. And final question, um, are you going to play Five Nights at Freddy's ever again? I hope not. I <laughs> I mean, I hope maybe maybe two and three I'm excited for, but for now this one is is I, I'm I'm tired from it. Yeah. I'm exhausted. Okay, so this is Meredith Galloway, and, and she is going to be playing Five Nights for us just to get a good reaction of the game from just a general audience. So Meredith, take it away. Oh man. I feel like I'm gonna die tonight. Like I definitely wouldn't be surprised. Like the camera just went off. Like the way it don't work. I hate this game. <laughs> it keeps okay. your mouse is touchy. <laughs> like I guess I turned the camera on. I don't know where they went. I wanna die. I don't wanna get to the next night. Like guys, my heart's beating faster than it did when I ran. Alright. I want this to be over. No, turn off. Bad. Uh oh. Wait, check one C. I don't want to be doing this. It's okay, Mary. You're almost there. I don't want to be there. Ben's <laughs> <laughs> walking around. Please just get me now, please. I'm spooked, guys.
guys. <laughs> oh, it happened so fast. I just checked up. God, and the oh. first time I ever played, I got to make four. Oh. Hey, Culbertson. Hey, guys. Um, so today we are going to be doing a run through of Five Nights at Freddy's. Maddie, how are you feeling about playing this game again? Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, my brother plays this game a lot, and he's very good at it. And he knows what to expect from what animals go into what rooms. <laughs> but I have no idea. I've only played it maybe once or twice. So uh, I how far do you expect to get? Like, what night? Maybe the second night. Maybe? <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. Um, if you get got in like one of the first two nights, are you going to keep going? Yeah. Or are you going to give up? I think I'm going to be a little freaked out, but I will try again maybe okay. one more time. Um, so what is your overall understanding of the game? Like, what is Freddy Fazbear's Pizza? Um, well, isn't it like a store and then it, it's like a... Um, at night, like, the animals come to life, and, and then, try like, they you. try to get you, but it you're the one that's in, like, the control room. You only have a certain amount of power, so you can use it on lights, you can use it on doors, but you want to keep yourself safe. All right, awesome. One more question. Are you ready to play Five Nights at Freddy's? Yes. All right, well, here we go! Ah, don't. Wait, turn it off. I don't want to. So, while you're playing this game, I want you to think about, like, the story behind Five Nights. Like, why these animatronics are, like, coming to life and stuff. Like, you gotta come up with it. Well, it wouldn't happen in real life. Yeah. Where, where does the... Oh, there. There's only three, right? Um, I don't know. Don't ask me questions I can't answer before you. <laughs> but seriously, think about it. There's a bunch of game theories behind this, and there are like so many explanations as to why these animatronics are active at night. Being he said their child, their favorite childhood like characters. Though. Mm -hmm. but why are they trying to stuff them in a bear suit and kill you? Do they want my body parts? Wait, what's he talking about? I think I'm the inside of the oh. suit. Because you're just like a person, you're not in a suit. So they're gonna get you and they're trying stuff to put you in me in a suit. And are they yeah. people that are in suits? Do you think they are? Last party! Okay, look at these heads though. Mm -hmm. Like, it looks like they have spare parts. They just chillin'. He says, let's eat. Maybe he's gonna eat me. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh, god. oh my god, okay, there's one. Wait, what room am I in? I'm right there. Yeah. He's still there. <gasps> Fuck. Natural reactions. Oh, 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 hey. Oh my god, they're moving fast. And the camera's still out. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay, he's gone. He's not there, he's not there. He's not there. He's oh. He's right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, he's getting close. So how are you feeling on a scale of ah! one to ten on the anxiety <laughs> level? <laughs> I'm nervous. I... <gasps> oh my god, no! I don't want to see you. I'm not using power, but yet the power goes down. Yep. Ooh, close the door <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> I feel like I have a strategy, but I feel like using the light all the time is like a bad idea because. Oh, oh my. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> ah! Let's awesome. see! I don't want you <laughs> there. It's a party. I don't see why kids would like that. Got, but you hear you. that though, right? Yeah, oh yeah. What's the door? Wait, there's still a shadow though, that means he's still there. I don't know. Yeah! <laughs> Monster. <sighs> Nothing! Get out! <laughs> Get out of town! Ooh. See, like, quick blade again on Chica's side. <laughs> Hi, Chica. Isn't that awful? Get out! 
It's 5 a.m. We just want to give you hugs. It's 5, dude. Yeah. Why isn't it letting me leave? The last one ended at 5. Kind of at 6. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Now I'm like... Dude. I'm screwed. They boxed you in. No. <laughs> How do you feel now that you've finished playing the game? I was certainly reminded of how I played last time, or what the situation was. Was the game how you expected it, or was it like easier or harder? Um, it was easier the first time around. Of course it's gonna get harder every night, but um, I felt better about myself the first time. <laughs> Uh, did you make it as far as you'd hope? I am happy to make it to two. Like he just said, most people make it, don't make it this far. Yeah. Fun guy's really interesting. Um, what is your overall understanding of the game now that you've actually like played it again? Like, did you learn something new? Um, well, what you said about like wanting to stuff me in a suit. I mean, I didn't know that's what they wanted to do with me. I thought they were just trying to get me. Um, and last question, do you think you'll play Five Nights again? Yeah, I'd play it. Hey, you know what? I'd make one of my friends play it. Like, I'd be yeah. like, hey, this is really fun. I'm joined by one of my good friends, Cameron Schaefer, and she's <laughs> going to be playing Five Nights at Freddy's. To get started, Cameron, how are you feeling? I'm fucking terrified. <laughs> Okay, great. Um, <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> uh, how far do you expect to get in this game? I'm not making it past night one. Let's be real. Goals. <laughs> uh, are you willing to give the game multiple fail attempts, or if you get no, if you get I'm just I'm, I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, overall, what's your understanding of the game? Like, what is what are these things? Like? I guess I'm in like a child's store or something, and there's like animatronics, kind of like Chuck E. Cheese, but at night they walk around. All right, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, night one. Here we go. Pick up the mouse. Camera's a little scared. It took me long to get my I'm terrified right now. Why do I have? 90% battery left. Battery goes down. Battery goes down. I shut the stand off. It's annoying. I can't. Can I have some soda? No. Can I open these drawers? Can't do anything. Just check the cameras and stuff. It's the fact that these characters yeah, they're 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 to see you after hours. That one is bad. Of course, what you've been saying. Do I believe you? No. Don't. Mm -hmm. So nothing's happening at 2 a.m.? Did they move? Yup. Okay, um... I'm so confused. <laughs> yeah, so, I, I'm not helping you in any way. But Jesus! <laughs> they ain't moving. What? Go look at the camera. Oh my god! It's gone, it's gone! I don't... Ah! <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> I'm terrified. <laughs> Close the point. The rest of you stay there, okay? Okay, hello. Hi. You have very nice teeth for a dinosaur. It's a rabbit. They're both still in there. Oh no. Oh, he's right there. Oh, that's unsettling. That is unsettling. I'm gonna just stay here. <laughs> How are you feeling, Cameron? Pretty freaked out. Okay. Great. <laughs> composure, breathing techniques, but it was like someone, and that sounds really bad, but I feel like someone like molested them, like a human being. So they like, they come back at night. Like I've been watching a lot of Wilfred, so I feel like, <laughs> I feel like these animals have like come back like to life, be like you're humans kind of molested on the right us. You're kind of on the right track. These things were abused, but not quite that extreme. Molested? 
No. Um, Are the kids like hitting them all day with like shit? Okay, you remember the bite of 87? The guy talked about it. I wasn't listening. Oh, sorry. Like stories that like, oh, the toys come back to life. Like Toy Story. Or like... <laughs> yeah, like uh, the like childhood Toy Story. classic. It's right there. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh my. Okay, um. Do you want to keep going? No. No. Are you sure? I'm so freaked up. So, uh, how do you feel now that you finished playing the game? I'm still terrified. <laughs> Alright, uh, was the game what you expected to be, or was it easier, or harder, or, like, scarier? I didn't understand what was going on, so I just stayed in one place for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I just took her in one place. Did you make it as far as you had predicted, or? Yeah, night one. That <laughs> <laughs> so you gave up. I have a little... But what is the overall understanding of the game now that you've played it? So, the animatronics are abused by kids, and so one day they just snap! And they bit a kid, and the kid died. So now they attack humans. Yeah, pretty close. You yeah, know, pretty close. Um, all right. Uh, are you ever going to play Five Nights at Freddy's again? Nope. Heard it from her. She's not <laughs> playing it again. So all right. Long. Thanks for watching. <laughs> nope. Never again. <laughs> Hey everyone, thanks for watching, and thanks to the people who starred in this video. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Um, anyways, so the purpose of this project was to see if people could uh, piece together the backstory of Five Nights at Freddy's without looking it up or without having any prior knowledge entering the game. Not a lot of people were able to... Um, get this without having known the backstory before. Maddie knew a lot of it because she had played it before. Meredith knew it because I had explained it to her months before I did this project. But uh, Maddie Culbertson and Cameron Schaefer were more unsure of what the backstory was. Uh, some theories of abuse and haunting were pretty close to what the actual backstory was, so good for them, but it wasn't super accurate, so I'm going to clear the water, uh, clear the air, and explain to you um, what the backstory actually was. So this game of Five Nights is based on the second Fazbear Pizza establishment. The animatronics in this game were haunted uh, by the four ghosts of children who were killed in the first establishment. Um, the killer is rumored to be Phone Guy, who is the person you hear throughout the game, but I don't believe that information has been confirmed. But this is theorized because it was um, <clears throat> the past security guard who murdered those children. So since Phone Guy is the one explaining your job to you, it can only be assumed he was the past guard. Um, so in short, um, <laughs> this uh, game of Five Nights at Freddy's uh, is a game where the haunted animatronics of four murdered children are trapped uh, forever on Earth, sinking vengeance on the security guards who work there. So, again, thanks for watching, and have a fantastic day.